wanted to do a vlog because, uh, well, I'm on autumn vacation and stuff has been happening, so, woo, here I am. Um, the last time that I did a proper vlog, I think that was during test week, so, so stuff has happened. Um, well, test week went well, um, in total I had six, five, something like that, tests and or exams or whatever, and they all went really well. I actually got tens for everything for my course grades. So I was really surprised, especially from chemistry, because I was freaking out about that one, and math also. So, yeah. Still, still a little mesmerized. I didn't know how that happened, but I'm going to try to keep it up, which won't happen, though. But anyways, <laughs> um... Um, after test week, we had a first our first week of like the new term, and we just started uh, an introductory course on HL math, and it's pretty tricky, but I love math, so it's fun. Yay! Okay, and like non-school wise, I've been doing really well. Um, I was pretty tired after test week because I didn't sleep that much over that week, so I tried to really sleep the next week to get it back. And now, um, after that one week, we have autumn holiday, woo, which is so much, oh, it's amazing. I have had the best holiday so far. And I still have, like, what, three days left. Yay! <laughs> well, not maybe three, like two and a half. But anyways, um, the, like, the last Friday, I flew to London by myself um, to go see my best friend because she lives there. And just basically go visit because I love London so much. And... I had an amazing time. I wrote a post on it. You probably guys already saw that. I'm actually going to do another post on the shopping side of that trip. So, lots of cute things. And, and I just had the greatest time because London it just makes me happy. I feel so happy in London because it's so it, has so... it has such a unique energy, that city. You know how, you know how cities have, have actual characteristics and you actually feel a certain way when you're in them? Well, obviously, if you live in them, you don't feel that way. But if you're like just traveling like a tourist... And, um, you just feel this amazing high, it's amazing. Um, but anyways, I, cause I've been to London around 12 times before, so I had seen all the sights. So I just, I actually went to re-see some things because I had seen them when I was like 10 the last time, so like 6 years ago. But I went to see Buckingham Palace again because it had been a while and then, um, I had actually never been to Westminster Abbey, but we went there and it was really lovely. And, you know, London in the autumn time was perfect because it was really, really warm. It was plus 20 Celsius. And um, there were still, like, it was very autumnal. All, all the leaves were on the ground. It was really sunny and pretty. Actually, my window, I forgot, I have to show you guys. It's so pretty. It's just, oh, it's perfect autumn view. Hold on. I just keep staring out. Why can't you see? See? Oh, damn. See, it's so pretty. Oh, I love waking up that in the morning. Yeah. Anyways, let's put it back here where it was. Oh, my room is kind of messy right now. I mean, not my room, but my, my desk is really messy. But anyways, um, I'm not going to try to make this too long because, you know, that's what happens all the time. And uh, then I got back from London, had an amazing time, and now I've just been sleeping really well and, like, reading amazing books. I'm reading The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, and I really like it. And I've just been getting really into that, and then I've been... Just going out with friends. Like yesterday, I saw two movies with uh, a, a bunch of different friends. The first one I went to see one of, one of my girlfriend's friends, and um, it was called One Day, based on a book by David Nichols. And I've really wanted to read that book for such a long time, but I just had the perfect opportunity to go see the movie, so I did. But I'm gonna read the book though. So it's about this like, like this couple. Well, they're not a couple. They're just, like two best friends, I suppose, and they have like met in university, and then. Um, stuff always happens, like, they, they start out on the 15th of July, and what the movie, how the movie works is that it only portrays 15th, the 15th of July, but, like, during different years, like, over the, it's around 20 years, I think. So, we start off with, like, 86, like, 15th of July, 1986, and then 15th of July, 1987, and it only does the 15th of July. It's really, really interesting, and I love that movie. It's my favorite new crybaby movie series. I want to buy it and, like, cry to it. I was, like, when I left the movie theater, I was, like, oh, my God, tears everywhere. It was such a great movie. 
And <laughs> it had Anne Hathaway and she looked so beautiful. She looked like Audrey Hepburn in some of the Paris scenes, like very strongly. And the next one I saw was like not that amazing, but it was still funny. I went to see it with a bunch of my guy friends and um, um, we went to see the change up. And it was kind of like Freaky Friday, but with men and their lives. And it was really funny. I laughed a lot, but it, it was, I don't know, it wasn't that amazing because obviously like movies like that don't win Oscars or anything, but it was really funny and entertaining. I really enjoyed that. And um, what else? Wow, that was really quick. I suddenly have nothing to say. And I was kind of a nerd. I went to the library to do lots of homework the day, after, the day before yesterday. So we do have kind of a lot of homework. Maybe not, maybe not that much, but I don't know. But I have like a test, like a, like a whole word exam next week on Swedish and like bio stuff, so I did that. And um, I've just been really loving autumn break. I mean, I feel amazing. Woo! <laughs> I was thinking of maybe doing something with my friends today also because it's Friday, no. It's Friday, Friday. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to quote Rebecca Black, that just happens randomly sometimes. <laughs> but um, I've actually been playing the piano today. Uh, I really want to play a couple songs for you guys, like as song words, but I really, I'm really bad at playing the piano. So um, when I publish them, I hope that you'll be really, really gentle with me because I'm actually really, a really bad player and it does not sound that good. So, But I have a couple of great songs that I want to play for you guys that I really enjoy singing. What else? London was amazing. Oh my gosh, the, like the first um, flight to London, like the flight to London, not the first one, the flight to London, I was only one flight, anyways. <laughs> um, first, I'm like, I go to the plane, I've been like hanging around the airport alone, doing nothing, like playing Angry Birds and like, I don't know, eating croissants or something. And then I got onto the plane. I'm like, oh, I'm about to sit in my seat, but then I noticed that there's a young child in my seat. And I'm like, okay, well, whatever, we'll work this out. And I, like, ask the woman that, do you, do you guys want to sit here? I can sit somewhere else. And then, like, the flight clerk was like, could you sit here, please? Like, this row back. I'm like, sure, whatever. So, I mean, I lost my window seat because, yeah. But anyways, um, uh, so I was in, like, the middle. And I really want to sleep. I'm, I'm really bad at sleeping like this. So I was kind of annoyed about that. So I was a little bit, like, a little jittery. I was like... Well, okay, and then, I'm sorry, I don't want to be rude, but the next person who comes, sits next, who comes to like sit next to me on the aisle seat, this person is so large that she, she doesn't fit in her seat. I mean, she's not like, I'm sorry, but you're not supposed to invade someone else's area. So I'm sitting there with like someone else on my side because they can't fit on their own side, and I'm trying to sleep because I slept for very little hours the night before because we stayed at school to sleep because we have this thing it's hard to explain but it's something called night school and you know but um anyways I was really really tired and I really wanted to get a good night's sleep I mean, not a night's sleep but like a nap and I couldn't do that and I was kind of pissed <laughs> but whatever because it was all right because like when I the fight back to Finland uh this really 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 kind businessman sat next to me and he was all quiet and very polite and it was all good and I got to sleep a lot, so, yay! <laughs> but um, during when I was in London, I met these amazing new people, friends of my best friend. It was a lot of fun. But hey, I'm actually going to go do try to do that piano thing right now, see if that works out. So, yay! I hope you like this vlog. Comment down below if you have any questions and tell me about your autumn vacation, because I always love to hear about your stories. Like, you guys have to tell me about your life, because I tell you about mine, so it's only fair that you do the same thing. So type down a little message and tell me what you have been doing and has your vacation been nice and everything. And if, you, if you're if you not on vacation, tell me about that. Like, oh, school is horrible. I want to hear about it. <laughs> okay, so bye.